I don't know why, but not many people do the do it the way I do it. Like most people that I know either move there and go, I live in LA and I'm here for three years or something. Mm. Or they go, oh, I'm in LA for three weeks next year. Not many people seem to do half and half. <clears throat> I don't know, I don't know. I mean, for some people probably it's just the logistics. Um, but I, 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 I and I, look, I, I guess it also suits me because I want to keep working here and was already working here. So for a lot of people, they're actually starting their careers in America. So they, I guess they think, well, I want to put all my eggs yeah. in one basket because why would I split my time and then also try and start a career in Australia? I guess so. For me, it is a bit different because I was already working here and I didn't want to stop working here because I like living here and I, I like, you know, there's some great, we made some great stuff. I mean, the, the thing to, that I always kind of, remember is the Aussies that we all know of that got are in the had the biggest film careers over there nine out of ten of them got that on the back of a big Australian film <clears throat> either big because it was a commercial success or it was a success at festivals or just like chopper where it was being passed around the industry so when people say they just want to move to America and live and do that all the time and oh, I don't give a stuff about working in Australia just remember that you know, Nicole Kidman get, did Dead Calm, uh, Russell Crowe and Guy Pearce, um, oh, sorry, Russell Crowe did um, Robert Stone, Guy yeah. Pearce did uh, Priscilla, Tony Collette did Muriel's Wedding, Eric Banner did uh, Chopper, and the list goes on. Um, Anthony LaPaglia is, a, is a, an example of someone who didn't do that. He went over there as a, and just started in America. But there aren't many. Most of them actually, most of the big names we know started uh, with an Australian film that, that got a lot of notice. You know, getting, getting a, an O1 or a green card is important in the sense that you can't work without them. But there are people who go over there without, just on tourist visas. You can, you can do that. It, if, if you want to just check it out and see if you're going to get representation, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say to go to all the trouble, unless you want to move to America to live, that's one thing, get a, try and get a green card and do that. But if you just want to check it out and see if it's something that might happen, yeah. you don't need to get an O1 straight away. I mean, it would help because any agent or manager is more likely to take you on if you've got, if you've got, got your visa. But, um, yeah, you I mean, also might want to do, if you haven't done it, just do an exploratory trip and go over there, especially if you've got some friends, and just kind of get a sense of whether you like the idea of being there. It's not, you know, it's not, the, the, I guess the, the main thing to stress and the most sort of depressing thing to stress is it's not easy, unfortunately. We see a lot of people go over and get work there very, seemingly very easily, and for a lot of people it is, but for 99% of people it's not. Um, there are shitloads of jobs there, that's the great thing. They make so much film and TV. Um, it's the centre of the universe for film and TV, no doubt. But because of that, everyone who wants to be an actor in the world goes there. So for, to some degree, the amount of actors there counteract with the amount of jobs that are there so um, you know just just be realistic is what I would say I mean it's good to be it's good to have dreams as well because that's what keeps you going and the people look you know if, if I uh, you know I could have easily not gone back after those first couple of trips I did because that was so dismal and certainly after that very first trip I did which was just awful um, so it's obviously if it's something you really want to do and you really believe that you um, not only believe that you can do it, but believe that you realistically can get work there, then you want to, then, then do it, you know, you don't want to be, part of the reason I went there wasn't even that I really wanted to, I just didn't want to regret not doing it. I mean, I, I, was, I was actually more driven by regretting being 80 and going, why did you go to America when I did that? I was wax, that would have, I could have got work out of that. And so, yeah, make sure that you don't have any regrets, but at the same time, don't, don't be unrealistic. Have a look at the people that, that do get work and the circumstances that got that work. You know, if someone's young and very attractive, then they're ahead of the pack. And I would say to any beautiful 19-year-old girl or 20-year-old guy, yeah, if you can act a bit, go over there because they're going to look at you because of your headshot. Um, if you if you've got um, an Australian film that's playing at Cannes, Thank see ya. You. No worries. Sorry, I'm really talking a long time. If you've got an Australian film that's getting a bit of heat at Cannes or Sundance or something like that, absolutely go over there. It's all about getting, it's all about having an angle. 
um, if you <coughs> are in an American production, you know, there are American films shooting here all the time, if you get a decent um, scene or two or three in that, absolutely go over there. If you don't have any of those things, um, which was essentially me the first time I went over, then you just have to know that you are either going to have to be the luckiest actor on the planet or you're in for the really long haul and that long haul may end up with not having worked there. But at least you'll know that you tried. Mm -hmm. Naomi Watts took, I think it was nine years of just Burnout. bumming about to get until Mulholland Drive came up, which was a yeah. TV pilot that didn't get picked up. Mm -hmm. and, and David Lynch went, oh, I'll just make it a movie. And then Naomi Watts became a movie star. Hey guys, Takaya from Actors to Actors. Thanks for checking out our video. If you'd like to see another one, there should be one here. If you want more info and updates, check out our Facebook page here. For anything else, look at our website that should be here. I'll also put those links down in the description below. Check it out. We'll see you next time.